Hi, welcome to today's video. My name is Paul. So today, this video is aimed at people who are perhaps still new to watercolor or maybe brand new, um, but you're thinking of maybe getting started into watercolor. Um, controlling the amount of water that's on the page and in the brush um, really is one of the key things that you have to learn with watercolor because it affects the different um, results that you get. So I hope the video is um, useful. It's quite short. Um, I hope it makes sense. It's not too rambly. And if it is useful, if you'd like to subscribe to this channel, um, just click on the big red button below and maybe click on the bell icon beside that. It lets you know if I've uploaded a new video. Okay, so in this first case, uh, the paper is dry and the brush is dry. Well, the brush is damp. Obviously it has some paint and just a tiny bit of water. But you can see as I'm putting the paint on, uh, the pigment doesn't really spread out very much. So you get a very saturated color and very hard edges. Now the second case, the paper is still dry, but now the brush is quite wet. And you can see this starts to, you still get a hard edge on that left hand side, but the paint will spread out more because of the water in the brush. Now in the third case, this time I'm just using water and I'm sort of painting the paper with water, if you like. And then I'll put some pigment on the brush and then apply that to the paper. And because now the paper is wet, you'll see that the pigment um, uh, spreads out much more. So you can see as soon as the pigment goes onto the paper, the wet paper, it starts to feather out. So with the dry paper, you got that hard edge, but with the wet paper, you get this feathering effect that creates a very soft edge. And then the fourth case is of course where you have wet paper and a wet brush. So again, first of all, I'm just using the brush with no pigment, just to paint on some water. And now I dip the brush back into the water. So the brush is very wet and the paper is wet. So this wet and wet technique um, is, it's very difficult to control. It's very unpredictable, but it can produce some very interesting effects. Okay, so to sum up the top two, number one and number two, in these cases, the paper was dry. So when the paper is dry and the brush is dry or damp, you get this very saturated uh, pigment and also very hard edges. The, by hard edges, I mean the paint doesn't spread out. It just sort of stays wherever you put it on the paper. So then with number two, we have still the dry paper, but now the brush is quite wet. So because you have dry paper, you're still getting the hard edge down the left hand side, but now you're getting the pigment spreading out a bit more, especially on the right hand side where I, I put a bit more uh, pressure on the brush and the water from the brush spread out and the pigment spread out on the paper. And then the bottom two is where the paper itself is wet. So number three, the paper is wet, the brush is not. Um, you can see the pigment starts to spread out. Also, you don't have the hard edges. Basically, that's the main difference between a dry page and the wet page. With the dry page, you can get the hard edges. When the paper itself is wet, things will spread out more. And then number four is the wet and wet. So the brush itself is wet and the paper is wet. And with number four, the wet and wet, it's very unpredictable what will happen exactly. It's very difficult to control. So I hope this short video helps a little bit, especially if you're still quite new to watercolor. Um, controlling the water 
that's on the page and the water that's in the brush um, will help you to get different effects and to try and uh, get the, uh, <coughs> the end results that you want.